Now that we've gotten all the glue done, we're going to use the chalks to color in our picture. I'm going to ask that you guys start by looking for the areas that are smaller and coloring those in first. So we're going to start with our subject, which is the portrait, the person. I'm thinking things that are small in there when I look at mine are the eyes, um, then the skin and like eyebrows, and then the hair goes like a lot longer and bigger. So I'm going to do green eyes. So I've got my green chalk, and I'm going to color right in between the glue. Now it looks a little messy, but I'm going to show you what we're going to do after you get it colored in. So if I think it's all colored in, I take my Kleenex, and I can just gently, I'm not pushing on the paper, but I can just gently wipe off some of the extra off that glue. You can always blow, too, because it's going to make a lot of dust, so that'll get rid of some of it. Um, I'm going to try and be careful not to get it up around here, but I might have to just add another color. So now that I've got green eyes, I don't want the eyeball to be blue, so I need to grab a lighter chalk. If your chalk looks dirty, like see how dirty this white chalk is, you can always take your Kleenex and like gently wipe it off. And look, it's already so much better. So I can take another dirty side, just gently wipe it off. So much better. Because um, I don't want you to color and then think, oh, Miss Gore, it's not the right color. So I'm coloring in between here where the whites of the eyes are. Then I'm going to blow the dust away. And now I can go ahead and smear it around a little bit. Wipe off the glue. Let's see. I think a little bit of the eyelash is showing. That's another really tiny spot. So I'm going to add a little black in there if I even can. It's so small. And I think that one's all good. Blowing it off. Rubbing any that's in between the glue. So see how my eyes are starting to come together? I'm going to do the eyebrows and then a little bit of the skin just to show you how this is going to build up. Small to large. So again, I'm not going to do all the skin first because these eyebrows are smaller. And I want to fill these in and then do that background. So she's going to have brown hair. So I'm doing brown. It doesn't have to be a picture of you, so you can go ahead and make it like any color you want, really. Um, I would ask that it's pretty realistic. I don't want a green-skinned alien. But if you want to have someone who has a blue mohawk, I'm not going to argue with you because I'm sure there are many people with blue mohawks. Blowing off, rub off the glue. And we can always clean up the glue lines even more later. You are going to get a little messy. And now I can do the skin. I'm going to just do a little bit so you guys get a good idea. There are all kinds of different colors you can use. Um, they're going to look different with the color of your paper underneath. So you'll have to decide what you think looks good. I chose this color earlier, so I'm going around the glue, being careful. This is a part where you might need to be really careful to fill in any parts that got too much glue on it. And we don't want it to like not show, so you're going to need to be careful to rub it in nicely. Now, is this perfectly colored in? No, definitely not. This is where I'm going to take my finger and smudge around and really fill in that color. I want to be careful around the eye, right? I don't want to cover up what I just did, so I'm going really slow and careful right around the eye. Over here. Chalks are really fun because they blend so nicely. I'm already getting that really pretty skin color I really wanted. Um, you can cover up any of those areas. and. I'm already almost done with the face. Maybe you finish this and you don't like the color and you want to add a little more of like a peachy color or a little more of a brown to the skin and that would be totally fine. So here I'm adding a little bit more and then I'm going to blend it in with my finger. And now her skin color is just a little darker. That's up to you. But I want us to go ahead and try. Today our goal is to finish at least your person, the portrait of your picture. And then next week we can finish the background. 